Crappie is one of North America's most popular freshwater fish. When you begin to look closely at body shape, patterns, and behavior, you might be surprised at just how unique these fish really are compared to the other sport fish species. Crappie belong to the sunfish family, which includes bluegill and largemouth bass as well. But there are many features that make crappie different and distinct from their other freshwater cousins. For one, they have a distinct body shape being laterally compressed with a large dorsal and anal fin that are nearly symmetrical. They also are a schooling fish, meaning that they prefer to stick together in large groups, making them a favorite among anglers looking for a good haul. Another key difference from other sport fish is their feeding behavior. Crappie are predatory fish feeding primarily on smaller fish and insects, unlike the bluegill for example, which consume more plant material and smaller invertebrates. Unlike the other species in the series, crappie are limited to just two primary species, the black crappie and the white crappie. Now that might sound simple, but it does get more complicated than that as there is some overlap between the two species. There are also possible hybrids or color variants, but I'll get into those later in the video. As for now, I want to focus on the two main species of crappie. While they may look similar, there are some key differences that set them apart. First up is the black crappie. This species is recognized by its dark, speckled body and more rounded shape than the white crappie. You'll often find them in clearer waters with more vegetation. Black crappie prefer deeper, cooler lakes and slow-moving rivers. They have seven or eight dorsal spines, which is one way to distinguish them from the white crappie. There can be a lot of color variation in the black crappie to the point where the word black isn't always accurate as a descriptor. For example, the fish in this picture is still a black crappie, yet its colors perhaps more closely resemble the white crappie, rather than let's say this black crappie, which is a much darker color variant. These color differences often have to do with where the crappie are found. For example, the black crappie that I catch at Utah Lake tend to be very light in color, because of the light murky color of Utah Lake. Dark colored black crappie are more likely to be found in a body of water that has clear, deeper waters as they tend to blend in better in that type of environment. The distribution of the black crappie is pretty wide across most of the US, however their range in Canada and Mexico is somewhat limited. White crappie have a more elongated body than the black crappie. They typically have distinct vertical bars on their sides. They tend to thrive in murkier water and can tolerate stronger currents better than the black crappie. White crappie only have five or six dorsal spines, so if you catch a crappie that isn't obviously dark or light, doesn't have distinct vertical bars, and you just aren't quite sure what species you have, you can always count the dorsal spines. If it has seven or eight, it's a black crappie. If it has five or six, it's a white crappie. White crappie is a less popular game fish than the black crappie, but all the same, it is found all over the continental US. Aside from physical differences, black and white crappie also behave differently. Black crappie prefer staying in one area, often near submerged structures like fallen trees and weed beds, while white crappie are more likely to roam around in open water, especially in reservoirs and large lakes. This means that anglers need different strategies depending on what species they're targeting. While there aren't officially recognized subspecies of crappie, local populations sometimes exhibit unique characteristics based on their environment. For example, crappie in the southern US tend to grow larger due to a warmer climate, while northern populations might be slightly smaller but more resilient to colder water. Some fisheries have even developed a hybrid crappie, often called the magnolia crappie, which is a sterile cross between a white and a black crappie. These hybrids tend to grow faster and exhibit characteristics of both species. The most distinguishable feature of this fish is what is often called the magnolia stripe, a dark black stripe running from the tip of the lip all the way down the spine of the fish. There's also a rare golden crappie, which simply put just has a genetic mutation known as azanthism, in which certain pigments in the skin, in this case the gold color, are more prominently manifest. Whether you're after black crappie, white crappie, or even the hybrids, understanding their differences can make you a better angler and a more informed fish enthusiast. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe for more fishing content. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next one.